Okay, so now what I'm going to do is another layer and with each layer, depth happens. So that's what we're going for. So I actually grabbed a little bit of the Prussian blue and I'm pulling that into the painting. And because that cobalt teal is still wet, I'm actually able to move that around very easily and create these nice soft feathery edges. Another thing I want you to notice there is how I am pulling my brush. I am very intentional about laying down my brush, pulling it, and twisting it. That's what's creating a very nice feathery look and it's moving the wet paint into each other. It's a neat way to blend the paints as they exist on the canvas. This is not something you can easily do with acrylics, but with oils, oils just move so fabulously. Love how they move. In between each time I'm laying my brush down, I'm actually wiping it off on a piece of paper towel so that I'm not transplanting wet paint into another area that I don't want it to be. Notice how I move my hand around. Just because the brush is in one position doesn't mean you need to keep in that position. You can move it all around. You can even take your panel and turn it upside down if you find that easier to work with. cleaning off my brush and now I'm going to go into some of the cobalt teal and I did add a little bit of white because what I'm going to do here is create some accent tail feathers and what I really love and I, you guys are going to hear this so much from me I love oils because I could just lay down the paint and how it pulls in those other colors that are already existing there and it creates the, the look that you want and then I can take a dry brush and just take the wet paint that exists from a previous layer and just pull that in. That's what creates these amazingly soft, feathery edges that you just can't get with really any other medium. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the cadmium orange medium and some of the naphthol red. And what's interesting about what I'm doing here is I am purposely creating brush strokes. So with everything that I'm doing, I am creating brush strokes because I want to be able to see the individual feathers. There comes a time when we blend and blend and blend and blend. And that was really the first layer because we want to be able to create a nice, solid, um, even surface for the initial layer. But as you begin to build your layers, you want to create the, the texture. And in this case, in the feathers. So by adding my purposeful brush strokes, I can get in the texture of his feathers that I want to be able to see. And 
if you feel that it's a little too texturized, you can always take your dry mop brush and just gently blend in the areas that you want to be smooth. Now grabbing a little of the perylene red, and again, just kind of creating some more feathers. Layers equal depth. So I'm going over some existing layers. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the highlights. So I grabbed a, a mixture that I already put together and I'm just going over where I think the highlights would be on the chicken, which is generally highest to the sky. So that's his uh, back and the tail feathers and maybe a little bit on his head. more of a smooth transition from his upper body to his lower body by pulling in some of that paint into the previous layer. Grabbing a mixture of the cobalt teal on some of the darker color, create a nice kind of a medium tone in between the two layers so they kind of blend a little bit better. It was just a little touch too stark for me of a contrast. So I'm going to play with that a little bit. I'm going to mess with his uh, waddle and his comb just by adding a little bit of the pinkish mixture and some of the perylene red and that fell red. I am literally stippling my brush onto the canvas right now. Just grabbing some of the cobalt teal and a little bit of the Prussian blue dark mixture and just kind of stippling it in because what the stippling is doing is allowing me to start from a light area and move to the dark and as I move to the dark it's picking up some of the paint that I've already put down so that creates a nice smooth transition from light to dark without having to mix all your colors. It's actually mixing the paint as it exists on the canvas. Having some cadmium orange medium and adding some more accents. And with this cone, I'm kind of basically stippling it in too. I'm just spotting it in. Around his eye, I have to be a little bit more careful with how I use my brush. So you'll notice that I'm actually choking up on the brush when I have to be more careful. And what that means is basically I'm treating it like a pencil as I get more comfortable with, you know, some of the brush strokes. Like with the feathers, I get further back on my paintbrush and really at that point it's a flick of the wrist. But with the comb and the eyes, I am almost treating this brush like a pencil. I'm 
Adding another highlighted layer to his feathers. In the areas that are stippled, it's a little bit too stark of a contrast for me, so I'm going to take another dry mop brush and just basically blend that in ever so slightly so that it creates a more smooth transition from dark to light. Wiping it off in between and gently blending in the edges. Create that soft edge. I'm softening some of my transitions using another dry mop brush. Okay, let's pause and paint. <laughs> 